Okay, hey, what's up, guys? Today, another video with the Subaru, and this box is things I ordered to fix that, that, and rock chips, and all the other little scratches and stuff. So, I ordered a, a little cure package thing. It's not a cure package, but it should be able to fix my paint. I got a clay bar kit, I got rust reformer, deoxidizes. Another thing, a rust reformer, uh, undercoat, two things of undercoat, I think. Or might have just been, oh. two cans of this, two cans of rust reformer, one can of undercoat, one can of primer. All of these are like rust things, and then this should be the same color as that. They look about the same, so I'm really hoping that, that works. But if not, it's still going to look better than a rust spot, so... And then I got perfect match clear coat, so that should work over this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand that, cause that doesn't go down in there. So I can just sand the edge, cause it's just that outside part. This one's different. This one wraps around into there, which I'm gonna have to take off this bumper a little bit, then sand that, and then I should be able to do that. And then I also have like, a lot of you have seen, Little rock chips. I can try to fix those. I mean, they kind of poke out a little bit. But main ones are this. Like, I'm gonna fix that. Fix that chip. I'm gonna cl clay bar this whole back thing. Excuse me, because there's a bunch of overspray, a bunch of pieces of uh, rust forming. I'm trying to clay bar that. Clay bar that. Paint over that. So there's quite a bit of scuffs on this car. And um. Hopefully by the end of this, I can actually fix all this. So I'm gonna start off with getting, start off with the rust. I'm gonna start sanding the rust and then I will get back to you after I start sanding that rust down. So, see ya. That one, it's not fully done. Get rid of this outer thing. Spray some um, deoxidizing rust thing over it. Then prime it, then paint it. After that, I'm gonna sand it, then paint it again with that color match then clear coat. Same with that, so do that really quick and then I'll get back with you. I just got done sanding this for about five minutes. It looks like this now. There's no rust spots, this piece of the primer. So I got that fully good. It's all nice and smooth. Started on this one a little bit. I gotta get that bubble out, so I'm probably gonna have to sand this little arch. And then rust oleum stuff on there, but I'm gonna make sure this is all so I don't spray paint my car, so. I <laughs> make sure this is all good and then I'm gonna fix that and then same with this. So I'll get back to you once I have this all taped up. Not the best job, but I just need that little spot for this rust stuff. Cover up that rust, then primer, then paint. So I'm gonna do this really quick. Put the camera down. I did not know it was black, but right in there is where it was sanded. So I'm gonna let that dry. It came out a lot more than I thought it would. Let that dry. Can't work on that yet, so. I'm gonna move over to here. I think I can just paint over this because there's no rust. So I might soap bar this. I'm just gonna soap bar the parts I have, see if any of it helps, and then if it doesn't help, then I'll paint over it. But do that soap bar, and then we'll be done. So I'm gonna break out the soap bar kit. Okay, well, I'm gonna do my side skirts. Pretty much gonna just clay bar my whole entire car. So I have the clay. All you have to do is spray the detailing stuff on to lubricate the clay bar. And then you wipe the clay bar really lightly, get everything, and you wipe it off with one of these microfibers. So I get to these rocker panels first and where there's a lot of tar built up and little surface rough spots, and then we'll get to over the scuff scuffs are. Okay, I just used the clay bar. Oops. On my whole side skirt, put my fenders on the scuff over here on that part. And it did clear it up a little bit. I don't know. Did not do as much. I thought it would do a lot more than it did, so. You have stuff that looks like this. It's kind of badly speckled with rust. I mean, I wouldn't really buy a clay bar. Still gotta do this part, and then I'm gonna fill that up. But other than that, that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. All right, it's been about an hour now since I've put that second coat on of, uh, what's it called? So I just threw on the last, threw on the first coat of primer let that set for about 20 minutes it says 
I did this little part under my fender, coated it, you can tell I don't I can. Taping this scuff up, taping that up, taping that up, taping that up. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. Paint over the scuff. Paint looks more silvery than my car, so I don't know if it's gonna look horrible. It's really glittery, I noticed. See that up close. So, I mean, I'm hoping, like it doesn't look way off. It's gonna look better than scuff, hopefully, but I don't know, let's see. Wait till that dries and do a second coat, but it looks, it doesn't look good at all. It's horrible paint, but let's see. Okay, this is how it came out. You can see there's definitely a distinguishable line. And it looks like really bad paint, but I mean, it is gonna protect it from rusting. I mean, obviously from afar. Looks like there's no scuff. You're actually gonna go look at it. And there's a little uh, line as you can definitely tell it's a lot thicker, but it's good as I can get it. There's still some clear coat right here that I gotta wax off, but that's it for right there. I'm just gonna leave those alone. Then I am gonna fix that. I'm just gonna sand it a tad and then just throw that fucking thing over it. Throw some paint over it. So be right back to you. Okay, well, I've been working on this for like two hours now, and like I said, I have that done. I have this bottom fender for rust prevented. I still have to undercoat it. Have that prime first set of primer. That second set after that's done, I'm gonna sand it and paint it. Two, two coats, then clear coat. Not doing that, like I said. I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that. Did that, did clear coat over that. Did that, looks like crap. It's really, I'm kind of disappointed in how this touch up paint looks with this perfect match. Like it does match, but it just doesn't. It doesn't layer on the car correctly, so. I don't know, I'm trying to make it work, but I'll get back with you guys and I'm hopefully almost done, so, see ya. I just finished this part, where the rest was. Put my last thing clear coat on it, so I'm gonna take off this tape, and this is gonna be the main reveal of what it looks like after, though. So, last rust was right there. All this paint, I mean all this tape. But I'm hoping it looks fine. I don't have crazy high hopes. And I hope it looks better than it did. Which it's probably not gonna be hard to look better than it already did. Almost there. Paint flipped up. Oh, damn it. Alright. Shoot. I'm gonna have to resand the head and repaint it. I don't know. See how it ends up. And yeah, it looks better than it was. Ah, dang it. Alright, well. I don't know what to say. Thought I fixed it. Got the stuff down there. Working on that, working on that. Got that. Got that. And that's it on there, but I don't know. Resuming painting my rust, I redid that, like I said, I think. Because I didn't wait long enough. So that's the first layer of the rust prevented, whatever sealer stuff. It's, it's still the second thing in primer. Just gonna let that sit 24 hours. Side spats on. I go ahead in my other video. Still the first layer of that. Gonna let that sit till way later tonight. And that's it. Everything else is done. So tomorrow I'll resume the video with like a part two or something. But as of right now, this is all I got done. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for part two. See you guys later.